Let me show you the flooring in a customer's bus. And I am taking up the vinyl that was glued down. Now, some of this is pretty easy to, to pull up, even though it was all contact cemented in place, that's still sticky. And some of this is really stuck down. And in the second part of this video, actually the main part, I'll show you how to get this stuff up at least most easily. But first, why are we taking this up? It's kind of nice looking stuff. It's got a good wood grain, it's vinyl. And it's because of this. Buses are really tough places for flooring. Wide temperature swings, changes in humidity. Now, this is a vinyl product, so it was not impacted by humidity, at least not that I know of. But you can see that the seams here have opened up because it's shrunk dimensionally this way. And more obvious because it's long, uh, it's gapped at these lengthwise joints. And that's pretty common in the buses if you're not using the right material. Now, I can't tell you what the right material is, but I will caveat this that some of these products actually specifically say in the instructions, do not install in an RV. So when you're looking for flooring, you have to consider dimensional stability as the temperature swings greatly. So right now it's pretty cold out. In the summer, it might get really hot inside a bus. Uh, you're not gonna have it climate controlled all the time. So this expansion and contraction will happen even if you take great pains to, to glue it down. So get something that is dimensionally stable, that has very minimal movement. Maybe consider a snap together floating floor where it's not attached to the floor. The pieces are attached to each other but then you've got to allow for uh, expansion around the edge and movement. So it is a tough environment. I don't have the magic solution for you, but I want to show you what can happen if you don't at least consider this. Some of this flooring is, has bubbled up enough that I can pop up pieces. And you'll see it's not stuck here. But then there are pieces where it's still pretty well adhered. And you can do it with the brick force method, with a chisel. Maybe taking up some of the plywood too. Keep in mind if this breaks, it can send off little pieces of plastic flying off towards you. So wear eye protection. Anyway, this is I think a hard way to do it. So let me show you what I think is an easier method using heat. You'll see that the brute force method kind of tears up the substrate a little bit. So you've got two ways to apply heat. I guess there are more, but you can either use a heat gun. This is a, well, let's see, one kilowatt heat gun. It's pretty hot. You can see that glowing red. Your typical hair dryer won't work. And with the heat gun, you can just work your way down. It does two things. It warms up this and makes the flooring more pliable, but it also loosens the bond with the glue. Just go slowly. And then, of course, the other end was not as here. And that was not a good example because much of that wasn't it here either. Let's try. So that's no heat, and let me try adding a little heat now. Let's see what happens. And see how that starts to come right up. It's 
still not fast, but it's much less destructive. I think it's easier. Listen to music, put on a podcast, listen to an audio book. And another way, ah, stuck to the floor. Another way you can use heat is with a torch, but now you've got an open flame. So just be careful you don't burn your bus down. This does work, but I think the heat gun is a lot safer. works fine too, just be cautious using an open flame inside your bus. <laughs> 